So in Frank's charts, basically how we rock here, uh, tackle trading is in Frank's charts, which is a tackle short for us in the halftime report. We basically try to convince Mark, who uh, likes to, in general, disagree with me and Frank, uh, we like to get him to agree with us on a potential trade, uh, whether that's a bullish trade or a bearish trade. And Mark has his own way of going about certain things, certain systems. And so we like to have a lot of fun at it. Uh, two weeks ago, we were six out of six, Frankie. Last week, we were five out of six. Well, three weeks ago, you were six out of six. Too. Three weeks ago, we were six out of six. Uh what do you got I, first? You want me to go first? You know what? Well, it's hard to, as much as I like disagreeing with both of you, uh, uh, technical analysis, there is uh, not a lot of subjectivity. Subjectivity and how we use it for systems, uh, right? But a good chart's a good chart. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Subjectivity. You read a chart. Yeah. I'm reading that chart and I'm like, I'm going to buy the dip. <laughs> there, there you go. See, Let's see. see, see Matt, there is subjectivity in technical analysis. <laughs> Look at that. Mark just proved there is subjectivity in technical <laughs> analysis. Oh, no, that has nothing to do with technical. That's just like, I'm just fascinated by My the point size remains. of that red candle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good All right, Frankie, what do you, you want me? You want you? Uh, you know Get what? Your, I'll, I'll go first. Home, Why not? I got, I got, got Twinkie up on my chart right now. So TWNK. What a delicious treat. I remember when I was Hold on. Wait, in, wait a second. Yeah. Twinkie? I got some Twinkies. I'm uh, going to donut. When I was a young man still in grade school, we took a field trip to the Twinkies factory. And I found out that we eat Twinkies upside down, or at least at the time, maybe they've changed their process. This was like back really? in the 80s. But yeah, the way that they come out flat side? is the flat side up. And so we, as the consumers of Twinkies, eat uh, them upside down uh completely well, that's uh, just a bad design that flat side should be now yeah 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 well you huh. know it's not a bad design Twinkies it's wrong little breakout that we got developing i here agree on twinkies uh march 1st i believe is earning so we're plenty close, time but not tight or anything along those lines plenty really time. clean really clean little top nothing fancy here can we take out those tops probably want to get above the actual high i want to say that's 21 21 uh, if I've got my numbers right, yeah, I'll, I'll look at follow, Just a little follow through uh, on this Twinkie breakout. Uh, we'll probably, again, depending on where the, how you place your stop loss, I think we probably have enough time to get a two to one trade before we get to earnings. Uh, I would probably have a you know somewhere in the mid twenty twos to twenty three range in mind as a target personally, but that's just me. Only have one wick on the open there, Frankie, at the top shelf. I mean, I think you could go above the so go high above, of this week. Go above this week. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, Listen, it, it was just a one tick. Yeah. It, just... it honestly was a one tick on the cash open. Yeah. yeah that doesn't it, concern it, me as much then. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do think you can trigger above the high. But again, you know, clean air here. Let's look at this from a longer time frame. Breaking up last week against a uh, high base flag base pattern in the, on the weekly chart. This is the first week that I would technically actually call confirmation on the weekly chart because uh, you tested up two weeks ago, came right back down. So yeah. you got to break out with confirmation on the weekly chart. The daily trigger is above the high of the week, which means you're, you're expecting only to trigger based on that weekly chart continuing. I, I like it. Mark, what, what was the news that gapped it up? I don't know. That was the 27th. Let's see if I can do a quick check and see what that was. Uh, looks like it you know, might have been moving. Well, you're from... looking at it, that uh, one of my favorite things uh, it, it, it treats that used to be was uh, there was the strawberry hostess pie. Okay. And like, I, I loved it so much. It, it like just brought me happiness and it was harder to find. And occasionally I'm finding it when I was traveling around playing poker, I haven't been able to find one in years. So if anyone knows where a strawberry hostess pie is, uh, can be found. Well, I would uh, appreciate that. Email Mark, uh, Twinkie trading. was added to the S and P 600 small cap index. Yep. That's oh, what I got as go. well. There you yep. go. You know, the, I've, I've looked at Twinkie several times over the last couple of years, option volatility is really low, which makes for some cheap options too. I, you know, I've, I've never been able to cash flow it. And so I've missed out on some directional opportunities. Um, you know, you know, pretty low, uh, option volatility, right? I mean, you're, you know, for those, you know, you, you go out to the, the 20s, clear out to July, and, and what's the trading at, right? You don't have to pay a lot for those options. So uh, low volatility relative and, uh, you know, 
decent chart, right? You know, nice little it's addition. Stock play though, Frankie. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, you can do options, Chucky. There's no doubt. I mean, a buck forty, buck forty-five for an at the money call option with sixty days left. I mean, you can do it. But I kind of, I'm, I kind of feel this is pure stock here. Yeah, that's probably where I would lean to, just with its price yeah. and. Uh, it's a well, clean it, trigger rising nine, like, you know, fits the bill of like, you know, profitable companies well, that make things right. Cheap companies too, you know, and delicious things. I agree with that. But again, you know, when you come out to 62 days and again, you can do it. There's nothing wrong with that, but you do have a little bit of a wider bid ass spread on a cheaper option. So again, 20 cent spread on a buck 35, buck 30, uh, buck 65. That's pr pretty widespread there. Um, you also don't have weeklies, a sign of it, a sign that maybe stock might be uh, preferred. So a little bit of a wider bid ask spread here, and then you also have uh, the uh, uh, just the cheap stock. I think stock plays here, but again, either one, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's uh, you know like hard hard to disagree with it. You know, yeah. get you get that trigger. Uh, All right, now you got me hungry, Frank. Yeah, I want right. a strawberry pie so bad. Listen, I got a blueberry donut right here, and Ooh, it's hard to see. Oh man, too. so it's like I just grabbed a pastry guy. Frankie Pastries said Twinkie, and I'm like, oh my goodness, and just let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> um, all right, so you got Twinkie on a breakout. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Bank of America here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go Bank of America here and uh, finance. Again, there's a lot in energy, and my second pick will be in the energy space, but let's just take a quick peek at the world of finance here. Finance here broke out to kind of start the week, and now we're just kind of consolidating over the last three trading sessions. You come back to Bank of America. Finance is one of our only uh, sectors with the, uh, that has a bullish ranking as well. Bank of, uh, Bank of America here, what I like about it is I like the overextended nature that is forming a little bit of a high base, a little bit of a flag. If we do see, and, and again, this is like an if A, then B scenario. If we do see a pullback that comes into the 9 EMA, maybe even $48 handle, I like front running here. I like front running here. Okay. But as long as the price action is where it is today, I actually like this more as a high base breakout on multiple time frames. And so it's one of those scenarios where we're not going to know exactly what the pattern is until the pattern comes through uh, through development. But once again, a little bit of a high base type uh, type scenario forming could be a flag scenario if we see another downward movement in price coming into the 9 mm -hmm. EMA, maybe coming back down into $48, somewhere around there. I do think at that point you have enough room between 48 and 50 to front run. I do not think you have that right now with the current wick, the current market, and currently where the price is right now. So once again, we get a little bit more pullback down to here. I like that front running status, the uh, front running uh, flag into a breakout. You know that uh, that trade we like doing, Frankie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Front run the flag into the ultimate breakout. Well, that's what kind of I like here. And again, you don't know until it forms. But basically what I'm looking at is something along those lines. If we form that support level around there, get that nice little upper movement in price, we work our way back up into 50 and then add to the position on the breakout of 50. That's if A happens. But if A does not happen and we recover price and we just simply get back up into the range between 49 and 50, I got that as a high base and I got that as a pretty clean high base against a very, very significant whole number in that $50. And you oh, know, yeah. we've, done, we've done a lot of technical analysis uh, type DTTs where we talk about technical analysis. We did one on support recently, just a couple weeks ago. And I talked about the importance of those significant whole numbers and the ones that all end in currency denomination for us in the US, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100 those currency denominations, they trigger psychological barriers in us as individuals. And when you're looking at $50 here, that certainly does stand out. And it also stands out because the market's telling you they're selling at $50 yeah. as well. Look at the sell here, see the drive down in price, look at the sell here, drive down in price. And so I like this as a combination, a combination type technical setup. If A, we get the flag, I like a front running from 48 to 50 with the scaling in position. If B, we recover price from here, I like this getting back up a bit uh, above 50 with a high base breakout and just full position if we break out 
of $50 there. But uh, that's what I'm looking at. And then when you come out to the weekly chart, there's just nothing there. There's nothing there. It's all go, clean. It's all yeah, clean. It's all clean. Go until you go way, way back. back. Yeah, you got to go way back and get scared change. by the financial crisis. You got to get yeah. scared by so, subprime. I mean, there's there's yeah. some nice air. Yeah, that's a nice break. That's so what I, I, what I, I love I like about Bank this. of America on the uh, on the radar here. Yeah, what I like about I, it, I, I love the, I love this oh, wait, pick. I love tackle how you're twenty five Bank of America. There you go. I, I, I love it for so many reasons. One, uh, you know, it, it fits the 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 bill of stocks that were running up, got caught in the volatility. That's Talk about a rebound, right? Number two. Uh, you might be forget because in these markets it's hard to remember three weeks ago but bank of america had really good earnings and if you remember when they came out like in the previous week jp morgan yeah. came out and got gapped down and and you had a lot of banks gapped down in this really negative environment it, you know bank of america gapped up you know and then sold off as the volatility hit the whole market but its earnings were well received especially when you consider the context and listen there's going to be so many algo headlines in the next seven months about you know raising rates raising rates this and that like the fed's going to be raising rates and, you, and you're going to get a little boost out of nowhere like you did the last week in bank of america love the play uh you know my only thing is i would want not want to get stopped out you know and find a, a way because i think Bank of America produces cash flow in 2022, uh, and I think it can produce some nice directional move, movement in times like you've seen in the last couple of weeks as well. So I love it. Awesome. Frankie, yeah. you're up. All right. All right. Yeah, that's nice. I love what I love about this with Nimble Jump on is, is I don't I can just go set up the alert at 50 if I don't want to yeah. kind of navigate the, the pullback. If I want to look for that, I can do that. I like that chart quite a bit, Maddie. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the, the real trade is the $50. It, it right. is, you know, and, and there's a lot of ways that that, you know, high base or maybe it pulls back yeah. further, turns to a cup and handle 50 still remains a breakout, but I am with you hundred percent. We look for opportunities if they develop to do a little scaling yeah. and technique. That's where my head yes. would be as well. All right. I'm going to bring up a uh, old BJ wholesales club, BJ ticker symbol, oh, BJ, these guys, I think you're going to like this Mark. There's quite a few things. I think to like, now these guys have also the early March, I believe March 3rd for earnings. So not behind them, but not looming large above them. As you can see on this daily chart, kiss the 200 bounce into the falling moving averages, put in a higher low, work into the trend line, fall down, work our way through that trend line and that recent high and that 50 day moving average. We're kind of taking out the 50 as well as the trend line. We've created higher highs and higher lows along the way when you look at it from a weekly time frame i don't know maybe just me yes. but to me that looks like a you it, know, it's, confirmation it's candle confirmation. on a bullish retracement uh yes. you know so you're gonna have the multiple time frame analysis working for you what i always appreciate and maybe it's just the way i think about things but what i always appreciate about this type of pattern is nothing until the actual high scares me like yeah. There's a lot of little things and I'll use them for target one. Yeah. yeah, I'll use them for target one, but really nothing scares me until that 71 ish uh, all time high. So a pretty good window of, of opportunity, I think, to work within as well. Uh, this is such a, you know, this pattern is just such an easy repeater for me personally. You but go in, it screams you. Yeah. You go yeah. in above today's high, you target 71. As long as you stop low is below half. the nine EMA, yeah. you are okay by my book, uh, which means getting a two to one trade. You're probably, you know, easily there, probably closer to to three to one as it is currently. You targeting a sixty-seven and a half on team one? Um, yeah, I, yeah, those yeah, highs so. right in there. Yeah, sixty-seven yeah. and a half, sixty-eight. Yeah, those highs, very natural place for working to seventy one. by seventy-four, yeah, seventy-two natural. and a half, something like that. Yeah, and that's yeah. usually how I kind of think about these. Where's kind of the price action before the high? Let's use that for target one, uh, with really our you know being a little greedier, you know, and going for target two. Well, these uh, these short term downtrends that turn into weekly retracements are a hallmark of your technical analysis. You you love those short term pullbacks. That if, and I'm not talking by the dip mechanic. I'm talking right. short term pullback in terms of re, uh, of a trend, right? That comes works itself down on a multiple time frame, working yourself back up, breaking above the fifty. I mean, we've been talking all week in the market about the pinch between the two hundred and the uh, and the fifty day moving average on the S and P five hundred. We've been talking about it all week about ultimate confirmation about the fifty day moving average. Where here's BJ. 
It's doing it. Yeah, it's doing yeah, what we're asking the S and P to do. I, I don't think I don't think you can disagree with it. No, and, and and what I like as well is you came down, spent a month under the twenty. You spent all your weekly moving averages. They got like compressed in there. Uh, you're looking to close above them, so you're getting in a situation here where you got some room to run here. Uh, and and it cooperated really really nice, right? You know, came down, uh, gave you a nice little. It, it's done a really good old support break i mean you're you're breaking a lot of res, a potential resistance here mm -hmm. uh and, and Both, you know, uh, I moving average and previous pivot wise uh, previous yeah like, pivot, I mean, uh, so, like pretty lots strong. of technicians are going to see this on how they use technical analysis higher lows along the way you know and, and once again if it doesn't trick i mean this is a nice chart this is a nice chart you know so uh, i'm uh, putting it on my watch now when's the earnings again March third. I want to say. time. There's no position. Oh, so trade. I still it's got to be a swing I got a trade. But yeah, you got a minute. You got a. You got about yeah two and a half weeks. All right. As long as it's ten trading sessions, you're good. All right. Like it a lot. All right. My turn. Yes, sir. All right. We can't. We cannot do a Frank's charts with me and Frank without talking energy. Of right? course not. I, I mean, that's of course the, not. That's in, <laughs> yeah, that is in the bylaws right now. That is we have such, to look how clean that is. It might be the best chart in the entire marketplace. Is the XLE chart high base against I, I seventy? Mean, that's I'm not much pick. of a momentum trader, but I look at that, I and mean, <laughs> even I get a little FOMO. I mean, just it's, like it, it's it's a very consistent high base on the energy sector. It's not my pick, by the way. But if you just wanted to, to, to do energy, energy above the high of 70 makes some sense here. Sure. It does. Nice high base against the 90 MA. Sector looking very healthy. I'm going to go to an old trusty. Ooh, the an old trusty. time frame on SLB. I like an where you're old going. Old trusty. I'm going with Slomberger, or as uh, Coach King I used to call it, it Slomberger. Break it um, down. I already love it. Let's talk Slomberger and let's talk multiple time frame analysis here because there are energy charts, and you just looked at one of them, XLE, that are cleaner than Slomberger. There are energy trades that are cleaner from a triggering perspective than Slomberger. There was very few charts I found in the energy sector that had a better resistance level that it was breaking than Slomberger though. Mm -hmm. Slomberger on both the daily and the weekly chart has momentum. That's that's certainly a nice little tailwind behind the trade here. Number two, I like this on a multiple time frame perspective. Anybody that watches the halftime report, they know I eat, sleep, and breathe and swear at the altar of multiple time frame analysis in the stock market. And Slomberger certainly has it. You got a daily uh, high base with a potential breakout above 41. You got a weekly chart uh, that has a uh, very strong resistance level at 41. Trigger here above 41 makes a lot of sense. Uh, with the energy you know, triggering, if you need energy above 70, that's an easy one. You wait for energy to go above 70, Slomberger to go above 41. 41 is it just stands out as a resistance level for uh, for Slomberger, and I like a trigger above 41. When you're working historically here, you want to stay historically on targets, and uh, target here doesn't take uh, doesn't take long or hard to define 46 as uh, the legitimate target that we're going to be working our, ourselves into. As you can see, if you break back above old support, you know what? I, I'm going to draw some lines, Frankie. I'm going to draw I some like circles. That, that's what I'm going to do. 41, 41, 41, 41, all 41. If you break back up above that support, resistance, 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 there's nothing till you get to 46. And so I do like a uh, break on Slomberger here, trying to uh, work ourselves into energy. I like a break in 41 here on Slomberger. I do think stop loss needs to get underneath the base here. And so you, when you're working on a, on a high base breakout, there's always going to be key levels of intraday 
levels that you could uh, identify and put a stop loss under. For example, I see one here at 39. I see one here at, four, uh, at 38 and a half. I'm going to say 38 and a half, though. I do think we need to get underneath 38 and a half, get outside all of this chop. We got a lot of momentum and energy. Stop loss should, uh, your, your, the confidence in where you place the stop loss should match that. Uh, that momentum we're seeing in energy. So I do feel like we can give this a little bit of room underneath 38 and a half, triggering above 41, targeting 46. I like the multiple time frame. really love their earnings earlier in earnings season. Now next week, a lot of, earn a lot of earnings coming out of energy players next week. That could obviously have an impact here on Slomberger, but the types of names that are coming out in energy next week are more, smaller uh, smaller cap names they certainly aren't going to carry the weight of a chevron of an exxon mobile uh even a slomberger and so a little bit more smaller names next week don't think it's going to have that big of an impact on this uh potential trade but technically i hear technically i feel this one's pretty clean what do you guys think uh yeah yeah um like, like i the only thing i'll add that makes it love even makes me love it even more is equipment and services have not had uh they've uh, had a nice little boom. run right but they have had paused that more than the producers yeah and, and 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 what i have found with equipment and services because the last time they did this uh, was back in, uh, I think, September or so, and oil was having a good little run, and the producers were running. Equipment and services lagged behind a little bit and then caught up real quick, and then caught up real quick. And so, you know, equipment and services, so, so your Halliburton's, your, your Slumberjays here, mm -hmm. uh, they've done a, a real nice little favor, uh, taking some time off. You know, I mean, that's three weeks here now that we're, you know, going to head into this resistance level. Um, it, uh, this is where I prefer an oil play. The producers maybe ran a little bit too much. I like equipment running, uh, catching up here and expanding. That's a beautiful weekly chart. Holy cow. Yeah, that's yeah, it's real nice. It's pretty clean, technically. Like, yeah. uh, second trade I ever made with Slumberjay. Second trade I ever made with Slumberjay. That's how old Slumberjay school it goes. Slumberjay was in a much higher price. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was. It was. And uh, it was in a different momentum environment. Let me tell you that as well. Yeah, yes, I asked four for four. Listen, not a surprise. You know, I got some... SLB, BGA on my list now. Uh, do, do, do beautiful stuff, you know. So what are we? Four? Four for four. We're four for four. Yeah, yeah but it, it's... I already had Bank of we America. We better be list. hitting five or six every week. That's all I'm saying. Like, we're bringing... I, I, mean, yeah, I can't, like, I, I can only add to how nice some of these setups yeah. are, you know, like give some, like, backdrop stuff on why I like it even more, you know, so... Frank, close us out here. Ooh, Last well, we got, go, we go. This Last is the wild card, card. Frankie. This, this is, is the wild card. Well, our I, record. Yeah, see, it's tough because I you mean, you guys are I, degenerate gamblers. You're in a Vegas casino <laughs> and you're up like you know two thousand bucks. You're like, I'm just gonna go throw five hundred on black on the roulette yeah, wheel. Yeah, there you go. Well, listen, actually, uh, me and Frank are more like we're gonna go throw five cents in the slot machine. Yeah, exactly. Play know, we go Let's bingo it. Yeah, yeah. Go play some some uh, some kino because you can just uh, you'll spend a dollar for like twenty minutes of entertainment. <laughs> we're there for the story. We're not we're there, there for the gambling. Exactly. All right. Uh, I got to go with an energy here because uh, energy is mm. just so strong, hot. right? And things are hot. so clean. Uh, I'm going to go somebody hanging out at the top in Chevron. We got a really clean, I would say, maybe even cleaner than XLE high base on it's Chevron. Good. I mean, there's lots of options in energy, right? That's what's that's what's awesome about a sector being strong is we have lots of, of choices. But held the nine, nice consolidation. I mean, if you look at that on an hourly chart or your intraday time frame of choice, I mean, tell me that's not just picture-esque of what you would want a high base breakout to look like really clean one of the leaders in the space no overhead resistance i love slb don't get me wrong but one thing i don't have to deal with on chevron that i do have to deal with on slb is overhead right i don't have anything looming large above me so just looking to come out of the base here mark first target would be the base itself so be looking to target these guys into, into 140 yeah into that 142 yes. 144 range yeah, yeah. I love the high base. What, what you mean by that to people? Because you know it's an interesting, like in, in forming a target. You know, it's, well, it's an interesting yeah, I way mean, it, it. the thing is, is when you're 
trading, you want to automate things as much as possible, right? You want to be, how do I target this? How do I target that, right? We do have to use some discretion, but as much as we can have repeatable, we want it, right? And so, you know, a very easy thing to do is say, well, what's the range that we've been in? Is that a move that historically coming out of high bases, we are able to hit? And in my personal experience, yes, uh, it is. And so it's a way for me to kind of take the pressure off myself, right? Say, what's the range that my high base has been? Let's use that for one of my targets. You know, I, and I, you could, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it could be T1 or T2, depending on, you know, you and your timeframes and how you like to trade. But it really comes down to being able to be consistent in an approach instead of being aggressive because it's a Friday or being a wimp because it's Wednesday morning and I haven't had my coffee yet. Uh, I know that as people, we are very capable of letting our mood that day determine how tight or loose our stop losses, how tight or aggressive our entry is, how we're setting targets. And, and as much as we can possibly get away from that, we can never stop being human. But as much as we can get away from that, I want to, right? And you know, using that box on the high base is just one example of how I am able to combat those emotions within myself. Love it. Love it. I, I got no complaints. I personally like SLB, but you're more of a momentum trader than I am. Uh, I mean, but I recognize a perf. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, it's pretty textbook, right? Like they're both good. I, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's were, which one do you want? Yeah, either, I, mean, I have no objection to either. Yeah, they're they're both good. This is a high base with with momentum, slumber, Zay, Zay, uh multiple time frame breakout. It, it honestly, they're they're both good. So I, I personally and, uh, like and multiple, multiple time frames time a little bit more. Breakout kind of guys. I mean, I'm going to like well, that 100 out of 100 times. Just Personally, you can see SRM bull mat. I wrote them both down. I, li I like both. Oh, they're, they're both, they're both yeah. uh, going to be on the scouting report, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if, if you're looking for a momentum high base. I, I, I can't see pick. a coach yeah. vetoing that. Like, it's too textbook, right? Oh, they're not vetoing that. Uh, yeah, no. They're, they're, or... They're, it, actually, I hope one coach does veto that after I just said they're not vetoing that. We'll know it's exactly. Always a fun conversation. When, yes, I love. I love when it that happens, happens every week. By the way, I, I love when it happens, especially when it's Coach Tyler, because I love to give Coach Tyler All right, a hard time. Matt, uh, throw me a Brazilian oh. like penny stock to ruin you want, our you, five you for want, five parade. Listen, listen, Brazil was rocking. And I, I, I still want to go to Peru now. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I had my pick and now I want to go get some weird Australian type company right now. Um, Frankie. What we got? <sighs> I got uh, a bunch of, I got a bunch that needs like three days of development. That's what I got. There are a lot. There are a lot. I mean, I got like, LAC I mean needs some development. Southwest flag needs some development. Talked about big. Oh, you know what? We're going to, we're going to go with the potential reversal. Oh, I, yeah. I've got a lot of things that look like this that, uh, you know, in, in, in software and semis. Yeah. I like what you're doing here, Maddie. Sell me on this guy. Yeah, it's it's a new IPO recently from last year. So this is one of the newer companies. Obviously, I, I don't know much about them. This is uh, something I, I more found on a scan. But what I liked about it when I was finding them on the scan is this was the only one of the tech plays that I found in the market setting up right now. It, I saw a lot that were like this, Frankie. You know, maybe a little more choppy, maybe a little bit more volatile. But what I like about this did you see the double bottom here? Yep. It's it's quick. It stands right? out, right? It's quick, but it's there. Pop up, down, pop up, down. You got that W formation. It's actually a W formation and not a rounding bottom, given the fact that these are actually pivots. Look, one, two, three, pivot, one, two, three, pivot. Those are actually historical pivot points now. And so you got your W formation there. You're now punching up against that uh, that resistance level of 37 and a half. You can see the wick uh, wicks up here. You got to see some confirmation here. You got to see some confirmation, but you do like it above that 37 and a half. Now, what I would like to see here as ultimately we work our way up into that 50 day moving average here is to see this market come up, really consolidate. And then the real trade here is that breakout of 40. 
Everything here is the development of the ultimate breakout. I'm calling it 40 now. It's really that 50-day moving average. That can work down a little bit to the 39 and a half. That can work into those previous pivot points right there as well. But I like the I like the double bottom here on path. I like it punching up here a little bit. It's an aggressive play. We're coming in off the lows on an IPO that just got absolutely trounced. But I like the double bottom here like the potential of the breakout. And I did find a lot like this. Again, yeah. needs a little bit of further development, but want to put it on the radar here. I like it working itself up into the 50, seeing the little short consolidation. Ultimately, though, you break out of that 50-day moving average, you break out of that 40 handle, you can start walking up the stairs all the way up to 50. So that's why I think it uh, needs to be put on the radar. Yeah, I like that. And, and I would echo those sentiments, Matt. I mean, to to various qualities, this one's, this one's definitely on the higher end of the quality spectrum, I would say. But I saw a ton of things in software that had this type of development. Yeah. It got me excited. I've got a big old laundry list. Of course, a lot of them do have earnings in the near future. But, yeah, uh, like these RNG, guys have, for example. Yeah, you know, RNG. Same Canadian, type of thing, you know, yeah, RNG you know, Big C yeah. is very similar. I mean, there's quite a few out there, uh, which does lead me to, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'll be keeping an eye on software as we kind of navigate all these, you know, resistance levels lining up with moving averages. Those are tough fights. And if we can yeah. win them, and many of them have held support or created higher levels of support, if not both. So very excited about it. So you, yeah, you got me, Matty. Not the pinpoint one that we, we were looking at with like Slomberger and, and certainly not our first one either. But again, looking at something that uh, needs a little bit of development, put it on the radar. Let's see how it works up, uh, up against that 50-day moving average. For sure. Yeah, you got me. Mark, has he got you? Oh, yeah, I, I've already put it on my list. Like, like, listen, I, I, when, when, when something gets so sold off that you're like a, a ton away from the monthly nine and you're just like way, way down there, and then I start to get a reversal pattern on the daily chart, and that's a pretty nice one, right? Um, that 50 comes down. I mean, I mean, I immediately put it on my watch list, you know, like I, like I, it, it, it is, it is me. I love this pattern developing. Yeah, that's, I, I do too. You know, now, like Matt said, let it develop, let it pinch a little bit. Let it, and... let, let it develop, let it develop, let it develop, you know, you, and you can be patient on this one. You can be Absolutely. patient on this one, but uh, yeah, I mean, well, even if you miss the break of 40, even if that does occur, Wait that's your top. signal. Yep, that's your signal. You can look for the old Cody special. You can look Wait for, for the, the flag back. into the nine, look in yeah. consolidation. You know, that's the thing about these reversal patterns, right? It probably isn't V-shaping back up to the very top. It might, and I want to hope it does for anybody who owns it, but we'll probably get lots of opportunities as far as that goes. Well, we're back on our winning ways, Matt. Last week, we got five of six. Matt and I, we call that a loss, right? We do. Uh, you know, so well, we're back on track. When you When you bring two technicians in like you and I, we better be five, six. We, we, we take it personal. We better be right? five, six. I take it personal if we're not six or six. <laughs> I'm still upset. I, I'm like, you vetoed my Brazilian. I forgot about that. that was a, I'm, I now, now my blood's boiling here, hey, Chucky. Goodyear is down 50 cents from when you talked me off the cliff. You guys are good. 